Okay, I think we are on. Yes, we are on. Hello, hello to anyone hello. watching us live, and of course, anybody watching the playback later. Hello, and welcome to the first craft chat. My co host Adriana hello. is not Adriana. <laughs> Um, if you're familiar with our live streams on Unicorn and Centaur, um, we usually do tag chat, you know, but this is different. This is craft chat. We're going to be making unicorn horns. This is what you came for. This is what you came for. This yeah. shiny goodness. <laughs> so, it's so beautiful. My eyes. <laughs> stop. So anyway, okay. I have to make sure I get to everything. Oh, I have to turn on my phone. We have to turn on our phones because I can't see the oh, chat on the thing. I if you are here. And your chat, well, then we have my phone. Settle down. That's right. Everybody calm down. Okay, so I have to go on YouTube. <laughs> see, it's usually Adriana. You have to help me. Oh. So, <laughs> see, this is what you look like. That was the sad And I have to turn my phone down. So is there just, is a this delay. Is just a new way to embarrass me? Is that yes, what this it is. is this is what this is. <laughs> Why don't we call it Embarrass Scott Chat? <laughs> oh, they all are, hang on. Hang on. The all around OTTB. Oh yes, rat poop crazy. Hey, so this is our chat. There are people who are like coming to actually talk to us what? and like find out about making unicorn horns and stuff. So, um, this first of all, this is first in a three part series. We're not making the entire thing. You can't make a gorgeous glittery unicorn horn in just one hour. So this is sort of a process. Uh, with some homework at the end of this. So part one is going to be sculpting the horn and getting the initial shape and um, how to coat it to get that, uh, to get the finish on it. Then the next one that we're going to do in, I'm shouting, I shouldn't be. The next one that we're going to do in two <laughs> weeks um, is painting and glittering it and getting it all glitzy and glam. Wow. And then, yes, the third mm -hmm. one will be um, finishing the base. Um, so mm. three parts. Da, da, da. For inserting. Yes. Now, do these all go into yes, the Yes, you see, yes, onto the um, brow band, yas. Mm. Now, my co-host today, here we go, let's get him more in the frame because we like uh, him. This is Scott, everybody, one of our magical herd at Unicorn and Centaur. You've probably, if you follow us on Instagram, you've seen Scott on the Instagram, probably in a pirate in costume or something. <laughs> Here's Scott's quick resume, horses. He drives horses downtown Savannah and does tours. Um, he has a background in theater, just like I do writing, puppetry. Um, he also does martial arts and he has a black belt. He can totally kick your butt. Um, and he's a huge nerd, like huge. Yeah. He's like really nerdy, like D&D &D nerdy. Wait, nice. Yeah. <laughs> So Scott, yes. say hello to everyone. Hello to everybody. Yes. Hey. Okay. Now we do go live every Tuesdays. Every Tuesdays. So here we go. What you need tonight? You came here for the unicorn horn, so why don't we jump right into it? Um, first of all, I sculpted out of foam, but it's not. Um, I sculpted out of foam, um, and here's the first one. Here's How many inch phone? What, what is the... Uh, oh, you know what? Is? Hey, get my... Oh, Lord. Now I need something. Mm -hmm. Now I need something, and I've set myself up here. Hold this and show everyone the high-density phone that we got from Joanne Fabric. High-density. High-density. Okay. So, two inches thick. Yes, I'm two inches by two inches um, is generally what I go for. You can get um, a horn that is draft size out of that. And of course, if you carve it down, you can get even smaller. And I forget the number of inches that I normally do. Like if it's too long, it'll be droopy and weird. <laughs> and if it's too short, it just doesn't look right. This is so. the looser polyphone. You probably could do it with a denser one too, but it would, it I don't would get want it more to weigh, uneven. And I don't want to weigh it down either. Yeah, and, it would be heavier. Um, the sculpting is nice with this kind of phone. Yeah, I this one is just like twelve inches, and honestly, depending on how it looks on the horse, I don't know. I might chop off the last little bit, or that might fit down in the mm. face. So this looks it, but just I need me. Okay, so. <laughs> So you need your foam um, uh, to sculpt your horn out of, and you also need sculpting tools, which in this case are scissors. We have a variety of scissors. You need a measuring device, such as the measuring tape I just had. 
you need a marking tool, we have a Sharpie, and this is for making marks on the phone. So let's get started. Yes, take us out of the, um, unsleeve us, please. Take us out. <laughs> yes, Kathy. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to have you do this. Okay. Mark off. Oh, you know what might be easier? I've got this little knitting thing. So here is our thing, for, you know, two inches. So we've got, this is two. Oh, hello. That is a knitting gauge. It's my mask. They stop. They can use any measuring tool oh, they like. Okay, I thought maybe we needed to no, know. No, this is not like a special marking tool. Fine. No, that's like I can't find my um. Oh, is this hurt? Okay, gotcha. So, so no. this is two inches right here, this two inch foam. So we're also going to cut down two inches and make like a long square. Okay. Cut a long square rectangle. Gotcha. Two inches square. I forget how far is that? I bet we can cut down and make like a horn and a horn. We want to save materials. <clears throat> so while Scott is doing that, I'll show you. No, wait, are we um, going all the way down that way? Yeah, we're going to like cut the whole strip out. So okay. like cut it, you know, we're going to cut gotcha. with our so I might these need scissors. To... Okay. What I was going to say, I was going to maybe get a straight edge so I can go all the way down. I don't know if I have a straight edge. I do. Long. Excuse me a moment. I have a T-square, darling. I'm a comic book something. <laughs> You're a comic book something. If wait, you are Mike. Oh my gosh. Hang on. You are Mike. I am totally Mike. Take your mic off and watch the cord when you're leaving. Yes, yes, yes. There's a process. Can you hand me the phone, please? I can. You're a mess. <laughs> watch the cord. I am going. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this while Scott is gone doing his thing. So all we're doing is making we're like Michelangelo. Sculpting the David like out of marble. We are going to sculpt a unicorn horn out of foam. And here we go. For you medieval fantasy uh, nerds, this can also be used as a Lucerne Warhammer. Really flimsy one. Oh. <laughs> High rolls. <clears throat> Fine. Oh, it must have. So sometimes the measuring process gets a little tedious unless you have a really goofy person. See, look, this is how I do it if I don't have a straight edge. I just keep marking two inches across. Oh, here. Two inches I across. Well, then do your Girl, thing. You're making it so hard. Here, do you need this? You're the one. Are you mic'd again? No! <laughs> but I'm so loud. I miss you, Adriana. Oh, <gasps> I said it. I said it. <laughs> Scott is going to be cutting out another unicorn horn, well, and in the meantime, back tears. <laughs> you precious, bless your heart. Shut it! No, oh, bless my heart. <laughs> okay. I'm having another heart to bless. Right. What's happening? I did this wrong. Shh! Don't say a word. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I want to show people up close. This is what I've done. Once he's got the um, the two by two uh, bit of foam done, then we start carving down, like taking off the edges. Which Did you go you past the two inches on? Per oh, never mind. I see it now. Weird. Okay. So then we're gonna take our scissors, and after we've taken our sharpie and marked a spiral, and fatter at the bottom, and then getting thinner at the top. Oh. We do the other side first. That's how you do it, y'all. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here we are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you an up close two of just on the curve. either side. Oh, two yes. inches on either side to match it up. See one, two. You need it on both sides. Okay, go on. Continue. <laughs> what? No, so, it's important. <laughs> um, I was just sort of describing the carving process. I don't know if, if you have not carved anything out of foam, it's pretty easy. And by the way, these are techniques that Scott and I have picked up over the years, working with Angela Beasley's Puppet People in here in Savannah, Georgia. Shout out Puppet People. Love you, Angela, who has donated lots of fabric and stuff to us and to our cause here at Unicorn and Centaur. So for carving up the uh, foam, you oh. just take a pair of scissors and snip away at the foam, and I want to show you up close. You can see all of the um, uh, the grooves from the scissors on this uh, horn at this point, and that's okay. All of that is going to be smoothed out in the carving process, 
and then covered up with a uh, plastic um, foam, which, oh, the, uh, the resin that you got today is like totally the wrong thing. Oh, who else is here? Fly me out from New York. I knew that. Ah! that was going to happen. That's okay. That's okay. We can look for, I think my uh, sculpture coat is in there and we can at least start because mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So are you, do you need this? Do you to go cut? all the way down? Just, one. just okay. cut one out. Then. Okay. We'll just I do that. Can... Yes. Oh, first of all, let me just show a close up of the horns. So this was the first one I did actually. Maybe we can get that in the light. This is a, kind of a tiny. Caesar, you can see the foam here inside. And this is what we um, we carve. You see what it becomes. And there still is some texture on the finished pro product, but I really love the texture that these come out with. I feel like it gives them um, a realistic kind of a quality that I just, I really like. By the way, a better way to do this, if you have it, is an electric knife that is yes. fresh. But we don't have that. Right. Just yes. Um, uh, much more efficient at um, cutting foam. But Scott with the super strong hands. Death grip. So again, here. And this one, of course, is not attached to a base. But this down here is where it fits into a base and then snaps over the brow band. If you like, I'm making puppets. Oh, we've got two viewers now. Oh, wait. I think one of them is me. On my phone, maybe, or does that count? <laughs> I, mean, I don't even that know. Works like that. Make oh, and I'm not drinking popular. wine for this. Usually, when we do the chats, I'm drinking wine, but I'm not even drinking wine, and I'm still losing track oh, of what we're doing. Say, oh my you god! You gotta stay sober around me and around blades and doing like carving uniform yeah, ones. I don't need it different. to like turn out all crooked and funky. Seriously, unless it's like a free form thing we're doing where it doesn't matter and it's not for business, then we can well, drink yes. all we want. So this is the first part of the process of making the unicorn horns is just cutting out the foam. Bazing! Now measure me 12 <laughs> inches of that. How, how far across is that? Like measure that. So far, like eons. It's like over yeah, the horizon. So I'm just gonna actually carve a while. Would you like it in centimeters or in inches? Um, inches please. Then we have exactly approximately exactly approximately yes roughly on the money uh -huh. 17 inches 17 oh dang that we can't cut that that cut in half will be too short yeah so we can only get so one give me a 12 inch unicorn horn out of that okay you know what we probably should have thought this through and just cut out the 12 so oh my god maximize the space. whole thing it's a learning process yeah <laughs> This is what we always learn when we learned at Angela Beasley's is like puppetry, which is this is what this kind of is. It's just like a piece of a puppet that I'm sticking to a horse. Um, it really is. <laughs> puppetry is pretty much just creative problem solving. So our problem is we need to figure out how to make real horses into unicorns. Such a problem. So we need some foam and some plastic foam. This is and way harder than what Congress does. We are not, uh-uh. We do not talk politics on this channel. You need to shut that down right now, son. I'm at the opposite of progress. <laughs> I wasn't talking about the... So I'm going to sit here and carve <laughs> while Scott is cutting out the shape for the like next heavy. unicorn. Right. So I'm trying to get a close-up of what I'm doing. Um, once the shape is carved and we um, draw the spiral on, we're going to be... Here's a way you can do it. I'm going to cut through here. Pinch it. And snip. so all we're doing is snipping off little bits, carving out the spiral, and then once you've carved out a channel, you can go back and soften the edge with little teeny snips, little teeny snips. And you're going to get a huge pile of foam down at your feet. Okay. It's going to get, Any? oh wait, I'm, <clears throat> Shall I round Scott, wait, 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 wait. What? What's happening? Our mics weren't even on. No, that was, that was me. Are you serious? Yes, I just... Realize. My God! Ooh, Wait! Don't really shout. Loud. The first thing is you shouting. No, stop it! And I made you take your mic off, and we weren't even on. And I never even put it back on. Oh yes, it is. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're wow. Mic'd. <laughs> Would anyone like some baskets for my case? <laughs> oh my gosh! Mm. Can people even hear us? Because I have the thing plugged in. I don't know, know. man. We lost all of our person. I know. <laughs> oh, hey, Unbox Warehouse is here. Hello, hello. <laughs> he keeps throwing that at my face. Ah. Hello, hello. Yeah. 
Okay, so now am I cutting off the corners to round it off a little yes, bit? Yes, exactly. Now, the end here is going to stay kind of rounded. We want to get all four corners off, but this end is going to come down to a point, right. so you can go a little bit harder in We're down on the edge. Everyone tapering everyone. Like tapering down handle. to a point. Right. We are, let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, our Rat Poop Crazy says um, she can hear us the whole time, so okay. we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Nobody panic. Good. Nobody panic. Nobody can. Just do this off camera. It's no. happening. So I'm just kidding. We're not doing it off ah, camera. Why are you throwing out my face? Because it's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Heightened awareness. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, right. Oh, Unbox Warehouse was screaming for us last time. No, we tried. On the tack chat, to be fair, mm. you watch us on the tack chat, and I'm drinking on the tack chat. Tonight, I am not drinking wine. This is like, well, I can't drink wine. we might be at the end. Stop. You know what? I, I might do <laughs> lots of wine after. Right? That's what I'm saying. Celebrate. By the way, oh, I introduced Scott, but I forgot to say, like, you know, I really, over the, I've known Scott for like 20 years, and um, I just, I loved his work, and I really liked him as a human being, and I liked him so much that I made him Don't marry me. Tense. I know. I made him marry me. So <laughs> we've been married for what? Almost 13 years. Tuesday night tequila, right on. Ooh. Unbox Warehouse, it says Tuesday night tequila. Okay, see, so I'm starting to round this off a little bit. It's octagonal, rather. So, yes, anybody else who's watching in the chat, Unbox Warehouse did a video, like, unboxing this unicorn meat. Was it unicorn meat? And it was, like, rainbow and sparkly? I don't know. And I was totally offended on behalf of my unicorns. So all I'm doing right now is really rounding off the edge. <laughs> All I'm doing right now is rounding off the edges here. You can see we're up here. We've got like really harsh. It's chunky. It looks bad. This is like a sad unicorn. Nobody's going to want this. Nobody's nobody's going to care. Oh, my God. I'm shiny. No, sad stop it, Michelle. unicorn. Like, <laughs> off camera, I'm not used to staying in the box <laughs> in any way, shape, or fashion. You're not kidding. I don't even know what a box is. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> so yeah, now don't take it down too far. Let's sh show what right, we've got so looking. far. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so keep looking, keep it's showing. It's getting a little bit tapered here. Right, it's still blocky and chunky, but you see how we're still working towards a thing here. Yeah, because we have to do a spiral around it with a dip. You don't want to go too right. narrow, otherwise you won't have anything to work with. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, this is just a process. It's this almost like you almost want to not get all crazy in the middle. But, no. you know, keep this almost nothing just to, to round it off as I'm slowly doing. But then this part on this side, you can think about your final uh, width on the tapered end. So, like so. Just keep in mind we're going to take it in a little bit with the spiral. Ooh, exactly. I'm with you. Okay. But um, it is my first one, so Oh, Garland possible. is here. Oh, hello, my darling Garland. Are you crafting with us tonight, Garland? Are you making something or doing something? Or are you just here for the unicorny goodness? Some people are. She is a very artistic person, and she does jewelry, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, her, she's got these little kitty cat earrings. She makes that are just darling. Um, I'm going to need, like, something to mop my face, or I'm going to, like, shine for – oh, here – I'm gonna shine forever. I need like a, like a proper southern lady. I need a handkerchief. Smooth it a little bit. A handkerchief. Oh, I'm so shiny. I'm oh, just drinking whiskey. Nice girl. Y'all are making me think I'm not oh, doing this right. Ain't right. I make a drunken unicorn horn. I think you know like what? This. It's good that we're doing it without the alcohol this time. <laughs> but next time. We'll be a little bit better. You know what? Next time we'll be painting and stuff. So that may be. I That's mean, maybe a good we can. time to drink. Right. For any of you just joining in the chat, this is part one of a series. Today we are carving the horns, showing you how to carve them out of just foam that you can no comments. get. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can comment. But I'm saying no comments. But you can comment. Oh, and by the way, this one's going to be for Sunny. And I'm really tempted to, like, 
like think it because if you watch if you're familiar with our channel you know i have a horse that only has one eye sunny um he had an injury to his eye and had to have his eye surgically removed and he's fine now and he's adapted great but he's got the one eye on one side and i thought it would be kind of awesome if like his unicorn horn had a scar like because you know i could tell right. people, like that's how he lost his eye right. you're in a Fox magical dragon. battle right yes like, you know, he, he sacri he threw himself yes. in front of a magical spell for me or something like that. But I think Sonny's <laughs> needs a, a, a scar of some kind. Yes. Uh, what color do I recommend for a chestnut? Um, Weasley, my chestnut, his horn is, <laughs> his horn is like an antique gold. Um, Sonny is also a chestnut and I'm going to make him a little more uh, coppery. That's like a reddish copper that kind of goes with his, uh, mane and tail that's kind of a, a reddish copper. I would also do um, like a cream or a champagne gold color for a chestnut. Um, you this could is also, one. Oh, sorry. Go on. Oh, I have a one coming out of his eye hole. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of unicorn. Although sometimes when I'm riding him on the trail, right, that's what, how did that I, happen? I sing one eyed, one horn flying purple people eater <laughs> because when he's wearing his unicorn because he has one horn. He's not purple though, but his reins are purple. He has purple rings, just like Prince. Nice. I sing happy trails when I'm bringing my horse home. Aw, that's adorable. To the clip-clop of the clip-clop. I know <laughs> it. I think they like it. You drive the big ponies. Mm -hmm. Rose gold. Oh, yes. Garland um, says rose gold, rat poop. Um, I think I might be ready. Or all around OTTB is what you are on here. Yes, mm. the all around OTTB. That's I'm seven hundred times. Um, so um, off track thoroughbred. Scott is not a rider. He drives draft horses, but he and he rides, but, but not, I'm not a rider. Yeah, Scott. Well, like, I have jumped onto a Percheron on a wild ride. Wally. You'll watch if you're a seasoned equestrian. You'll watch Scott riding and be like, "Oh, honey." <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be hurt like that here. I'm I was sorry. Here. You did. We. <laughs> We keep it scaring. real here on the Oh, good. Then drink <laughs> next time. We'll be invested. How are you doing I over here? Vodka. So now I've sort of actually rounded it off quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of ready for the spiral, I'm thinking. Or do I need to taper more? That's a, it's still, okay, at this point, let's look. Oh, I'm it's still feeling a bit wide. like, yeah. And this is still a little wide. Oh, I'm going to kind of flat on one side, too. I'm trying to, um, Go ahead and carve it down just a little bit more, yeah. just a little bit more, and yes, and show. Let's show slowly. This was oh from God, a I two inch did. piece. <laughs> so I know nobody's talking. It looks like a yeah. cucumber that's been peeled. Here, that's what you meant, right? Cucumber. Daikon. <laughs> Daikon. Daikon. It's a violent word. Oh, all around. And yeah, a little phallic. You think? Daikon. Oh, I know. Oh, when I'm carrying all these things around, when I'm like got a whole bunch of unicorn horns, I'm like this doesn't look because like then Mary the base, Kay? well no, because the base is on them, like the the base part that goes over the like tell me with the little or the fringe around the bottom. <laughs> I can't when I carry these around, like they have to be on the horse for them to be seen as unicorn horns. If I'm just carrying them around town, people are like. <laughs> Honey, it's my she, wife, ladies and gentlemen. Like she thirsty. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. Okay. Hey. So here I am. Do you see what I'm doing here? And just sort of just rounding this off, taking it in where it needs to go in. This is where you can watch a movie, or you can hang out on a live stream on YouTube, <laughs> and carve your unicorn horn. If you're not happy with it, the foam is fairly inexpensive, and if you have a lot of it, like you can make, uh, carve a few different ones. Try them on your horse before you do the base, so that you can see this is like just, what looks good. This is just the beginning, all we've been talking at least initially on using other mediums to craft horns. I mean, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can make molds, uh, you know, make clay, and then make a neoprene plastic no, well, mold the reason, and put light in it. No, the reason we're doing this though, yeah. yeah. Um, they, even with the resin that we put on them, they stay soft and they're easy to break. Mm -hmm. Now, the sad thing is they're easy to break. And if your horse like is swinging his head around everywhere like that, they can crack pretty easily. Mm -hmm. They can be repaired with some glue and some paint. No, the, oh. the horns that, oh. um, that we're making okay. these. 
but we want them to break because we don't want people to be injured. Like I'm not about, oh, like I'm not about getting, getting stabbed in the face with like a sulky horn, like or whatever, you know, what if there's real danger? I know. Oh my God. I'm looking at myself like wave it back and forth and it looks hilarious. You would think a lot of people would want to join up in this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, you're welcome. There's quite Garland. a bit of crossover. Garland says, thank you for sharing this process. I know some of this can be tedious, so Scott and I try to make it interesting by, I don't know, being interesting. <laughs> <laughs> by not making inferences. Ah, snowing. Don't worry, I won't wait for the scissors in your face anymore. That's right. Anymore. How is the lighting? Why is it so in it over here? Why are you what we face? need are blue and red gels for a realistic tones. We need, yes. Mm. I need lighting. I don't have real lighting, y'all. This is like. This is not just do that. This is like a small <laughs> potatoes operation. What does the camera do? Kitty. Oh, we're, yes. Loki is behind us. Little kitties. The baby. Yes, I have supervision tonight. My Loki kitty. Mm. It's hot in here with these lights on, y'all. It's so wrong. Why am I doing this to myself? Mm. Well, I Glad need to make more point. unicorn horns is all. I've been putting off making sunnies. Honestly, there's always something else to do. And I'm like, no, I've got to make it hard because I love him and he's my best friend. He was the one I want. No, this is not a musical. We're not doing a musical live stream. Girl, no. Mm. <laughs> Girl, no? <laughs> And now, you know, there's always the danger of going too far. And it's like when you cook and you add too much salt, there's no way to go back. Actually, there is. You add oil, but she can't add oil to this. So I have no idea. But when you go too thin, then you got to start over. Uh, when you're carving the horn, make sure you take moments during the process. Don't, if sometimes I can get tunnel vision and I start mm -hmm. like getting into a little, oh, I got to make this really, really smooth. I got to get mm -hmm. this. And I have to remember to take it back and be like, okay, now that I've been working down here, the top looks stupid thick. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now I have to like work on the top end of it a little bit. All right, hang on. Let me take some And you know, I mean, this is, I mean, it's ultimately, this is to your schematics because yeah, I don't yeah, really have the feeling. This is of great where right here. Stop. This is great right here down at the bottom. Just like, let's take off like a, like, you know, just a little bit of the, just a, strip just, down a little bit. Zh, zh, Get little, more, yes. More daikon taper esque. Yes. Whatever. I'm sure that means a thing yeah. in your mind. It, makes, it totally means a thing. It totally means a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. If you add oil, it gets more phallic. Girl, you are bad. I didn't consider that. This chat. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? It's fun when people come and chat. I really, Check. this is like weird. What are you doing? I just have an itch. <laughs> all right. All snowy. I know. I told you. It's like all over us. Wait here, yes. Wait, oh my gosh. I you can't even see my legs. What am I even doing? I just showed everyone my really belly. Like nice. <laughs> Real nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go into space for a second, shall we? Go into space. Stop. I told okay, you. I'm coming back. I, I done told y'all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. more of a geek. There's no intelligence behind <laughs> what I just did. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I can go nerd, I suppose, <laughs> but Shh, you're making me live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, maybe don't wear all black. You know what you're right. I don't have any other. I did that. Though. I did that to hide the um hide the, the mic. mic. But now we're hiding everything. <sighs> Are we? I don't know. It's really a, it's a good suggestion. It's a winter color. I, I feel like a winter person. I need a winter color. I don't have all. I don't have anything except the only thing I have that's not mm -hmm. black my is my taekwondo uniform. It's like a white thing in the closet. Right. Like, what's that? Everything else is all black. Oh, my fairy queen costume. I'm not sitting here under the hot lights in a fairy queen costume. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, she's saying that makes it hot. I get it now. I'm really slow. What me? Just as a fairy? A no, because OTTV <laughs> was talking Ooh. about maybe oh. don't wear black, and that's why I'm so hot. I thought like, oh, because you couldn't see us. 
just give me a minute. Um, uh, sometimes, sometimes like I get there, but then I don't get there until a few more minutes. <laughs> Lord, y'all. I could have like a tank top on. Nobody needs to see my arms live on YouTube. What am I talking about? I could wear a wife beater or I could just let you beat me and then I would be next to a wife beater. <laughs> you're so weird sometimes. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Sweep. There we go. We are halfway through this process. Okay, you know what? Look, let's do it. I think we're let's ready. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, where did the um well, where did the sharpie go? What no did you do with the sharpie? Oops. So here we go. What? Nothing. Okay. So for the spiral, <laughs> you can do it clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way, I think I want to do Sound one the opposite way. I want to go this way. Well, so I start well, down I at the bottom, good. and you just start drawing on. <laughs> you on. just start drawing on the spiral, and I don't go very far without. Yes, checking. I sit back and I eyeball it. How far is this going to be? And we're going to carve this down even more. So if you make a mistake and you have to go back over it, please don't panic. It's okay. You can totally mess it up and it can be all <laughs> and you can still be able to fix it. So, <laughs> Did you just make a horse sound? <laughs> and you'll be like, so, oh. <laughs> judge me. <laughs> just saying. So, and if you really ruin it, it's like. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And it needs to get, well, it doesn't need to get uh, thinner as you get. Don't go too thin too fast, though, because then once you get to the top, it's gonna be like, ee, ee, mm. and you're gonna hate yourself. And you're so hate you your are life. depreciating. We want it to be a little bit width. so that it looks yes. like a, that it grew out of the forehead in a spiral pattern. So the end is so a horn. So it's technically not. Parallel as you no. come up around, you're tapering no. slowly as you're spiraling. Taper as you spiral. So, and I'm going to continue. And again, we can fix this. Spiral as you taper. If when I'm done, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, when we're done with this, you can still change it. You can make, you can fix it. If you're, if you end up with too many scribbles, like go get a different color marker and start mm -hmm. with a different color marker. Yeah. You can do this. You're going to repaint over it anyways. Whatever you marker, you just change it. Right. So here we go, all the way down. We're gonna do that. Okay, so hang on to that for a second. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Okay. So to do the next part, again, we're gonna go slowly and continue to take a step back and kind of eyeball our work as we go to make sure we don't, um, whatever, whatever. Um, actually, how about for this part? Do you want to take over, kind of sculpting? Right? Do you know what I was doing here? Just. Yeah. Taking just getting that part rounding off. that there was a little bit. See how it's kind of flat and well, then uh, wide and yeah. then flat. You want to make it more circular. Oh, if we Less can, ovular. but right, don't cut too much off at this mm -hmm. point. We're not, yeah, yeah it's crazy. gonna be subtle because me, we've already okay, shaped wait, it. So I hate to say this, but save the tip for me. Let me work the tip, just get work down right now. I can't okay, move. Don't make any sudden moves. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the hour. It's not like that. It looks like a. It's just like, no matter where I put it, no matter here, I'm here. It doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna come up with something. Here, I don't know. <laughs> you okay, can hold right. the wrong place. This is radish. Even all the wrong places. Garland said your joke was radish. <laughs> it doesn't like the <laughs> Nice. I didn't miss that earlier. Next job chat. It. Okay. Ooh, idea of Scott and the Fairy Queen costume. Oh my god. Oh my god, people are listening. Why are you listening? <laughs> and then you're formulating things after. You're like jumping off the springboard. Stop. Okay. I am I have to wipe my perspiration. I'm glowing. You know which one you were on. I'm I'm just like just gonna go for it. it doesn't matter. Right. I was I was sort of going all around because again you're So you gonna, left some flat on both sides. Well, and that's the problem. That's it. I didn't leave it flat, it just sort of was there and I'm trying to bring it in just a little bit. More. Okay. I didn't do it on purpose. It's cool. It's Love cool. me. This is like a 
Yes, a puppet issue. Yes, we're just carving. screaming those out. So to carve this part, back to where we were. To carve this part, um, you want to go along the lines, and you just sort of take your scissors. I wonder, can we see this here? And press in and snip. And then what you get is a little groove in the foam. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. About that. Let's see. So there. So we're going to continue to do that all up the horn. There we go. I snip. Now this, you might panic and be like, oh my gosh, but look, that removes your little line. But look, you can see the notch that you're cutting. That you're cut, so you're going to end up with the the cylinder or the horn shape with this big notch cut out, and you can see that that then we're going to refine it and move it to this point. So I am going to now continue to look to make sure you're doing your thing. Did you have a question, sir? Do you have to share with the class? You know, it wasn't really a question. I was just thinking about how the deeper you go into a groove, the more it bulges um, out so as you go deeper and you don't want to go too deep right because then it becomes like wow wow you know, um too, bul too bulbous hang on otdb is asking if the grooves would be easier to cut with an exacto knife and maybe but my problem you may not have this problem or i don't like may it. not i have a problem cutting too deeply because that weakens the the horn uh when you put it on the horse it is weak at the seam here so when it cracks, it will crack like at one of these seams usually if it hits something and it cracks. So we don't want to make those even. Also, I have, I have spent years working and building puppets out of polyfoam. And let me tell you, when you're using a loose razor, you have a tendency to forget where your other hand is. You have to yeah, always be behind it. So this is much more controlled. With that, a lot of times you'll start doing it and it'll loose out and suddenly a chunk will come out. Whereas with this, you can control every bit of yes. where that see how where the angle meets. The triangle right here where the scissor is happening. Which with, yes. with the razor, it oops, uh, mm, uh, and you can't go back. And, and you could glue it, but it changes the Honestly, give yourself at least one to practice. Yeah. Um, because you're gonna mess up. That's part of what doing things like this, that's part of the process of discovering how to make something like this, is making a couple that suck. And then- Could be happening right now. I know, well, <laughs> I did actually this, you, uh, this unicorn horn, the one that I use on Artax, um, which I, uh, this is the third incarnation of this design. And I still am not happy with the base and I'm still gonna retool that before the third installment of this one. So, um, so this has been an evolving process for me as well. And I have been like road testing them on my horses, on the trails, in the arenas, you know, what are they good at? Do they hold up to head shakes? Can you trot in them? Can you canter in them? You know, can you take them over jumps? We need to know yeah. these things. <laughs> cool. It's important. It's so important. Right. Well, they last an entire carriage shift, you know, downtown Savannah. Mm, that's a good point. Right. Cause you know, start, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they start going. Bold. Right. Well, that's the thing here. Here we can talk about a problem. Um, the Weasley's horn. This one is Weasley's horn and this is the antique gold. This is for my chestnut. The, um, shadow contour color is like a very deep, dark Brown paint. And then there's antique gold. And then of course, like highlighted and glittered and stuff. Now Weasley's looks nice, but I didn't put enough, coats what we coat these with after we sculpt them is a product that called a uh, sculptor coat which i have not been able to find um, a substitute for the, yeah well i mean i don't we'll talk yeah. about this at the end this yeah, is yeah, our yeah. homework for the next time but i didn't use a, i used like one too few coats on here and so in the warm weather of savannah this gets like you can already see it mm. Now it bends back to what you shaped it to, but when it's sitting on the horse and then in the heat of the summer, <laughs> it can like by the end of the trail ride, it's Poor like, unicorn. aw, I know. And it'll come back. Like I can, you can shape it back. Um, so mm. I really need to do on the next, like I said, this has been a process. Well, hello, Johnny. Johnny is here. Um, Garland is asking if we can add some wire internally to stabilize. I've thought about that, but I don't want there to be an eye poking issue. Like, I feel like the plastic resin is hard enough. Mm. You, um, you can, and you if you were going to do yes. that, turn the wire in and secure it on itself so there's no point on either end. 
Yes. So you have two. a little bit of a round here and a little bit of a round yes. here. And then you kind of get rid of that. But it also changes. Um, and it also depends on the gauge, like whether mm -hmm. or not um, it will hold up. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes it's right. useless. But. Um, yeah, she said this. Thought that was probably a safety concern. Yeah, if that, they didn't become so um, stiff at the end of it all, mm -hmm. the wire would be a beneficial thing because it bounces in this in this okay. state. It's very bouncy. Here we go. So I've got the grooves done here, and you can see in all of its texture. And let's like compare like the stages. So here we are with the grooves just cut, and we've got one going the other way. So here is one being smoothed out and shaped. And then it's going to become this once oh, we. This is what we're put going for. Order, man. You yeah. need it. Step don't one, you? step two, there we go. step three. I'm looking at me squinting because I don't have my glasses on. I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, so he, um, do you want to start gently carving out this sort of thing here? So now that we've got the basic rough thing, now you're going to go along these edges and start smoothing these edges out. You'll find then once you start smoothing these edges out, the grooves may not be deep enough anymore. So you may have to go back in and deepen the grooves. And anytime you go back in, go with your Sharpie as well so that you don't lose track of where you are. As a matter of fact, here, let's go ahead and do this. Um, add your Sharpie line back in so you have a reference point and you don't end up like going off the rails. Ooh. I'm speaking of going off the rails. <laughs> such a mess. Off the rails? I didn't even know there were rails. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Just to give you a reference line. Oh, hello, oh, hello. Buddy. Oh, what is doing? Hello. Do you need to talk to your buddy? Oh, my God. Scott is Loki's best friend. They're, Blending the Michelle they're shirt. They are best friends. Oh, I know. Hi. Blending and everything. Okay, hi. so I've got the line redrawn just to give us something to go off of. At the bottom, you don't have to like really go in and carve it up because that's going to leave you a nice stable base. There you go. Do you have to I do. Oh, Adriana's here. Adriana says I'm late. Hi. Hey. So, Adriana, <laughs> this is what we've done so far. Um, Let's do a recap for people. Where did our phone go? Oh, um, uh, hand me our phone. Phone? Foam. Foam. Uh, <laughs> we are taking just a piece of two inch foam from Walmart or Joanne Fabric or Hancock or whatever you got in your town. Um, go take an old seat cushion and, you know, tear it up if you're a real DIY type. God, I love the kitties. I'll see how I'm getting the groove in. I sort of bend it a little bit like that. Yes. So let, bend and then it. I go in just a little snip, just a little snip each time, a little snip each time to see how far in I can go. And then I look at it and I pop it back so I can see how deep it's going in. And then I can start shaping that curve without it bends. So I do that each time. I do the main, the main groove All right, and then I flip it back up and start curving around. Main groove, flip it back. And you can do that all the way around. You do it like that all the way around. Bend, 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 mm -hmm. bend, all the way down. Just and be, then I could come back. Just be first careful first. that you don't tear the foam because once you've torn it, you're going to have to glue it to get it to stay back together. And that will always be kind of an unstable. Right. I'm not like bending it like all the way. I'm doing a little bit like that so I can get my little scissor in there. And, and depending on how obsessed you are with perfection, um, this can take anywhere from an hour to two or two to several hours. <laughs> oh, Adriana wow. wants to know if the foam horn technique would work for dog unicorn horns as well. Yes. Gosh, how would I put it on a dog though? dog -a -corn? I guess you could do like a little, it might be a little elastic. It's still be a unicorn. It's just, that's just so that one like, horn. Like the blade. Oh, that's right? messed up. <laughs> what? That a, a dog with a unicorn horn is a unicorn because unicorn just means one horn. Does that mean a narwhal is a unicorn? <clears throat> Don't come for me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm ruining the horse part. Don't. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. I, I scissor. <laughs> <laughs> Karma's a bleh, <laughs> fill in the last two real <laughs>
<laughs> Come on. Yes. So yeah, you'd want it um it for a dog, I mean if it was a little teeny chihuahua, I'd just do it like a little finger size. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just cutting. I'm cutting up. <laughs> Don't think we're entertaining. We are not entertaining. Shh. Are you not entertained? <laughs> um, we got to get the sculpture cut out. What? By the way, I wouldn't do it on both sides. I wouldn't go like this, bend it, and then on the other side, bend it. Much, right, yeah. because you're getting a groove in there, and because that groove is now open yeah, that hey, you're cutting into it, you can work in the groove. groove. Like, just like, don't make what? the groove. You don't need to make the groove deeper yet. You I'm just, just round it. I am. That's what I'm saying. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Well, then continue what you're doing. Oh, my God. Why are you yelling Becky, at me? Look. I don't know why you have to raise your voice like that. Oh yes, uh, for your dog Adriana, she says she might need it a little bit bigger than that. Yes, I'm you know a six or seven inch horn, and you probably wouldn't need the two by two um, to sculpt it out of. Um, you could probably do a one by. Um, the thinner foam you can buy it, I think, as little as a quarter of a yard maybe at uh, Joanne Fabric, and that would get you a couple of unicorn horns. I'm just futzing with this at this point, just trying to make it look cute. It's really, hang on. Mm -hmm. I don't like the flatness of it. I'm gonna have to work on this. No, that's, yeah, you do. <laughs> don't at me, bro. Mm -hmm. It means you have to cur curve it harder on the- um... You have to curve it harder. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to unicorn. <laughs> I'm a grown up. That corny. <laughs> okay, so after we get this process done, we only have like uh, 12 more minutes in this first one. <gasps> no! I know! Don't rush. Don't rush. Well, this is the whole first part of the process. And yes. once you get this done, sometimes you're like, ugh, I need to let this sit for a day. No. Mm -hmm. um, the next step after you get your, your horn carved and you know, um, like, that's the shape, that's what you want. Cut it, set it, print it, you know, keep it for all eternity. Nothing. Excuse me while I dab myself. What are you yes, doing? you can also make this out of clay and then put it in a 3D printer. But that takes all the fun. It's a whole different kind of fun. Okay, I'm done. And you have to have a 3D printer. So, there you go. You're Screw so that weird. one up. What? You're so weird. Okay, so mm. I'm still carving this. I'm not happy with the shape yet. We're so not going to get around to. Go the opposite it. of weird. So, um, <laughs> if, yeah. Hang on. I don't. I'm taking my microphone with me. Oh, I'm going. Oh, excuse me. You get to see all the foam all over my body. I'm looking for my. What are you uh, doing? Where is that? Here it is. <laughs> okay. What? Just a cat. This is the sculpture coat. Where are my brushes? Oh. I don't know. Oh, and I found the ruler. I found the straight edge. Yeah, good job. I am a professional. Da 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 da. I'm a professional. Don't you love me? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, no singing. Oh, could carve and make a mold. Oh, Garland said to carve and make a mold. Um, I see mm. the problem with that is um, I wasn't really doing this for like mass production. I wanted each one to be kind of fit to a specific horse. Um, for example, this was the first one that I made for Artax and it's really fat and on his head it looked ridiculous. So I needed to make the next one carved down a little bit smaller because um, it really affects the look. Part of the problem I had, everyone was like, why don't you just buy a unicorn horn online? And I, no tea, no shade to anybody who makes unicorn horns online, but if they're like a mass produced kind of a thing or if they're not made specifically for my horse, um, it doesn't look right. I wanted that. I, I like the way our taxes horn looks and I, I'm happy with it and that it was created that way. Um, 
I just have ideas for specific colors and specific size and length. It looks a certain way on a horse's face because I want it to look real. I don't want it to look like I glued a horn to a horse's head or like I stuck it on there. Um, I, I like, I want it to have a realistic look. Also, what, um, what but is, a the, mold is, that is a liquid, good idea. A liquid foam, like a foam, what is the, what is it that you pour in after the mold? Well, you can what? use this. There's this, um, <clears throat> This the clear plastic. polyester, this casting resin right they here. They have a liquid rubber too. Mm -hmm. which... This is specifically for molds, for making um, plastic resin molds. Mm -hmm. Oh, so when he makes it, yes, molds are still a pain. Yes, well you could do molds in that you could make like a size for a miniature horse and a size that would be appropriate for like a pony, then one for a regular size horse and a draft. So there would be like extra small, small, medium, large. You're pouring five or six yes. at once. Once you have the mold, it starts to go from a pain in the butt yeah. to, whoa, I've got a lot of hooks at the end of all this. <laughs> I have some brushes here and I'm gonna use probably just something like this, um, like this little like one inch brush. And this is not in a package. This was given to me by my dear friend, Angela Beasley. Um, sculptor coat is pretty expensive for a container of it. So she was like, girl, just take some of mine. So I got a container and I got some. And it is a, it's not a plastic resin like I was telling you earlier. To oh, get. I didn't think it was, I know, but well, I just that's accepted that, but it because that, I had never heard that. It says plastic foam online. But I don't know. They didn't have that either. So, oh my God, I'm not even going to be able to. It doesn't. But what we want to do, that. we're not going to be able to do this for this tack chat. And God, I may have to like hot water this stupid thing open. Don't let me try. No, I got it. It's because oh. I looked at it. Oh, right. is it? Yeah, Did you it use is. the force? Uh, we don't call it that. Oh. Now, look, even so if it's Lucas. gummy, it's going to work. So, this has <laughs> like the consistency of like glue. This is like glue. Glue. I know, and I am just going to do a little bit of this for a demo because this is not ready to be painted yet. So I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom so you can see what this looks like. Scott so is get getting roundy. this right, carved and shaped, carved roundy. and shaped. So the sculptor coat. <laughs> hey, all right, you. It's sculptor coat time. <laughs> so this is going to get put on, and I don't have everything set up here, but you just dip a little on your brush, and it's liquid. And then let's see. And we just paint it on here. Do, 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 And it just, at first, when you're painting on the sculptor coat, it just kind of looks like wet foam. And you're like, I don't know if you can see this, the texture of it. It just kind of looks like wet foam. And you're like, what is this even doing? It looks doing? like it's not going to work. Exactly. And you're like, oh, my God, I ruined it. What's happening? Um, but let it dry. That's Put it on. One. Yes, put it on. It's going to take several coats and it needs to dry about a day or so between coats. This is why this is a process. That's the bad news. The good news is we're doing the second installment of this series in uh, two weeks. So you've got two weeks to find some sculptor coat and coat up your unicorn horn for um, tutorial number two. Yeah, you know, I went to an art store. Too. I went to two different art stores over the past couple of days and nobody had any idea what I was talking about when I talked about sculptor coat. And I've been using it since the late 90s, I, know. I think. Yeah, I don't understand. And it's so good and it has such a unique property that I would have thought that there would have been more people attuned to it, but they had no idea. I don't know. So I love it. I, but it dries. It's like a wet, it looks like glue. And then you, um, you paint it on the foam and let it dry. And then you'll see you've got, it's kind of a, a it's a little, great protective like field for yes. puppets. It's a great protective field for any polyfoam that you're it not, kind of like glue. you're not um, putting fabric over it. So you need some kind of covering, not get just more paint. horses. Oh, TTB paint says away. if we have too many horns, we need to get more horses. She said it, not me. <laughs> Um, and Garland wants to know how the sculpture coat smells. It smells like glue. It doesn't have a huge, like, it's not like mineral spirits or anything like that that's going to be, like, uh, extremely obnoxious and way up your nose, you know? It just, it kind of smells like Elmer's glue. I wonder bad. what kind of ingredients are In fact, it, um, there are, it, it has a little bit of a property of Elmer's glue. It, um, I know. I've used Elmer's glue when I didn't have sculptor coat. It but it even... leaves a little bit of a stick, and yes. I was using that for super for a regular Sculpey. Um, so I wouldn't advise it. Then you have to put something else over it, like a protective rubber. 
weather right. thing that keeps it it makes it more like it, it doesn't what ultimately sculptor coat dries. Yeah, it doesn't dry down like a plastic finish. It doesn't. Uh, glue doesn't. No, no, no. It's so. not. It's it was just because I had nothing and I really wanted to coat it, but it wound and up not ultimately being. We end up doing, um, I think, four coats of sculptor coat. That is strong. Right, so you do one and you let it dry, and then you do another one and you let it dry, and each coat you can sort of feel it happening, like you're like, oh, it's you know, taking mm -hmm. shape. It's starting to feel like a real thing. I mean, gosh, magic is real. <laughs> you guess, magic is real. All right, I keep having to. If I am a pain looking over here, it's because I keep checking the chat. I apologize to everyone. We've only got like um, five minutes left in our tutorial. Spar varnish on top of Elmer's. <coughs> oh, a uh, varnish on top of Elmer's. That's a good idea. That's what I was saying. That, oh, you said I that? mean, well, I said oh. after you do, you said over Elmer's? Yeah, we just said over. Yeah. Yeah, over I was saying glue. after glue. Well, it, varnish, I didn't say varnish, but I was saying like that weather rubber protective coating, oh, some okay. kind of coating, yes. like varnish. She was saying Right, spar exactly, exactly. There's a few different varnish. ways you can go with that, and you might have to play right. with it, find your um And you know what? Field. That might be worth exploring. Yes. Again, the whole thing with like a DIY thing. This is not. There's not a manual. I'm making this up, y'all. Every time you say DIY, I'm like, who's on? Who's driving under a taxi? No. <laughs> I forget that that's a thing. DIY. Do it yourself. No, no. So it, yeah, it's it can. You there can be variations of this, and that's one reason I wanted to do this whole thing yeah, as like right. a live stream. You know, so we can talk about alternatives, and we can say. <laughs> Oh, what about this material? Oh, what about this product? Who's used this? I love, that's one of the things I love about puppetry is um, the open architecture atmosphere of the whole thing. How everybody loves to show you exactly how things, how they did it. It's like the opposite of a stage magician who never wants to reveal their tricks. A puppeteer can't wait to show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. You know, look what I did. Mm -hmm, absolutely. <laughs> They are not afraid to show you. And can't wait. If you have something, a better idea, a faster way, or a better way, or a cooler way, or look how I did mm -hmm. it. Oh, that's it's great. a very sherry uh, industry. Sherry. It's, it's not quite like the sherry. auditioning so process industry of the acting We world. need to wrap this up <laughs> in just a second. So if you followed along the whole time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Garland, for being here. Thank you, Unbox Warehouse. Um, thank you, um, OT, um, All Around OTTV. Um, Adriana, who showed up. Did I say Adriana twice? I don't know. You just said Adriana, um, but you may have said it twice. I may have. I don't know. Um, and anybody watching on the playback, thank you so much for uh, joining us for our live stream tutorial. This was just part one, you guys. We got our foam horns carved. Now, for the next time, we're going to start painting and glittering, and we may be coating some one with, like, you'll be coating one with sculpture coat, and I'll be maybe painting and glittering. I don't know. I'll have to decide for next time. But um, next time, we'll use sculpture coat, or you can use. Um, Elmer's and varnish. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do for next time is have our coated horns. Varnish. Now feel free. If you have questions between doing this step and the next step, if you have a question about the sculptor coat, um, if you, I need to have an affiliate link to put in the description box. Um, if you have trouble, um, figuring something out or if you have a trouble in the process uh, please leave a comment uh, below and i will answer it i am on this platform every day and i check my comments and i will respond to you and um help you talk you through it um so thank you um please subscribe to our channel and you can click the little bell for notifications so that you don't miss when we upload unicorn videos and horse videos and uh, centaur videos and these live streams are every tuesday night next tuesday night will not be craft chat Next Tuesday, Tuesday night will be Tack Chat with my co-host Adriana and I cleaning saddles and bridles and talking about the topic of the night. Um, but then the next week will be Craft Chat. I'll be drinking in the next room. Probably. Okay, so that is <laughs> it. We are on our way. Look, see, this was just, we started from here, and now we've got this here. We are working it, y'all. Working it. Working it. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.